Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this absolutely beautiful baby dress for baby girls between six and nine months old. It's part of a new crochet baby dress set that I'm going to show you, which will include the matching diaper cover, this one here, the matching baby booties, these here, and the matching headband. Stay tuned for these tutorials. I'll go ahead and upload them shortly. Now, this little set, like I said, is for baby girls between six and nine months old, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger. Just be sure to check out the information box below. There, I will leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll go ahead and leave the link down here in the information box as well. I will also leave the link up here to all of these tutorials once I upload them so that you can easily find them. And remember, my channel is bilingual. All of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. It's called Super Soft Baby Double Knit James Seabret. If you're in the US, you can use a light number three yarn. Okay, so here, to begin, I have 73 chains. On the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, I'm going to make a double crochet. The three chains here at the beginning in this row count as the first double crochet. So I have two. I'm going to make a total of nine. So that's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Here's the front panel. So now I'm going to do the sleeve. So chain two and into the next chain, make a double crochet. Now for the sleeves, I'm going to make 17 double crochets. So that's one and two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17. Let me count them again just to make sure. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Perfect. This is the sleeve. So now chain 2. And now we're going to make the back side. So here for the back, I'm going to do 19. So into the next chain, make a double crochet. That's 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now chain two and into the next chain, make a double crochet. This is going to be the other sleeve. So again, we're going to make 17 double crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, chain two, and here we should finish with nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, perfect. So for this front panel again, make nine double crochets. Continue and I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I finished this first row. I finished these last nine double crochets. So we have nine, 17, 19, 17, and nine. That's a total of 71 double crochets for the first row. Now for the second row, chain one and turn. This chain here never counts as a stitch. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, right here, make a double crochet. Into the second double crochet, make a double crochet. Now this is where the pattern is going to start. Chain one, skip one double crochet and into the next one. In this case, it's the fourth, make a double crochet. Chain one skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next a double crochet chain one skip this last double crochet for the front panel and inside the chain two space make two double crochets two chains two double crochets chain one. Now skip the first double crochet and into the second. Make a double crochet, chain one. Skip one double crochet and into the next, a double crochet. This is all I'm going to do until I come to the next chain two space. And the rest you're going to work on your own. It's easy. All you do is just skip one and then chain one. Skip one, double crochet, chain one. Skip one, double crochet, chain one. Here at the end, skip the last double crochet for the sleeve and inside the chain two space, make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And this is all we're going to do for the rest of these stitches here. You're going to, let me start you here. So chain one now, skip the first double crochet for the front and into the next a double crochet. Chain one, skip one double crochet and into the next double crochet, chain one, skip one and into the next 
double crochet chain one and that's all you're going to do from here on this other chain two space is going to look exactly like this here you're always going to have one last double crochet and inside you're going to work this fan and then you're always going to begin by skipping the first double crochet and into the second do your double crochet don't forget to chain one because in the next row we're going to come and do just double crochets into each one of these chain one spaces and on top of the double crochets i'm here at the end of this second row i still have three double crochets one two three the last one is the three chains here to finish don't forget to chain one skip this next double crochet and into the last two make a double crochet into each one here at the end we're going to finish with two double crochets and we're always going to start with two double crochets and that's what it looks like now if you count each one of the double crochets including these here inside the chain two space you should have a total of 51 double crochets separated by one chain now for the third row we're going to chain one and turn now from here on these are the two rows that we're going to repeat the second and the third so for the third here beginning on top of this last double crochet that i did make a double crochet double crochet into the next double crochet here right on top and into each one of the chain one spaces you're going to make a double crochet and on top of each one of the double crochets so in this row, this is all we're doing. We're just making one double crochet into each one of the chain one spaces and one double crochet into the uh, on top of the double crochets like this. And these are the two rows that we're going to repeat from here on. Here we have the next corner. We have the two double crochets. Same thing, make a double crochet into each one. And then inside the chain two space, make again your fan for every corner we're going to do the same thing regardless of which row you're working so two double crochets two chains two double crochets and then again start this other side making a double crochet on each one of the double crochets and into each one of the chain one spaces and that's all we're going to do for this third row Continue like this and I will meet you at the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. I have 103 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did on the second row. So here, chain one, turn. And remember that when we do this row here, we always begin by making two double crochets at the beginning like this. So on top of this last double crochet, make a double crochet on top of the next a double crochet here are the two double crochets now chain one skip one double crochet and into the next a double crochet chain one skip the next and into the next a double crochet chain one skip one and into the next a double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one skip the last double crochet for this front panel and inside the chain two space make two double crochets two chains two double crochets and then to begin the next side skip the first double crochet but first don't forget to chain one so skip the first double crochet and into the next a double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one and so on each one of your corners is going to look exactly like this one here okay so continue for this fourth row and i'll meet you again here at the end to show you once again how to finish and how to start your next row I'm here at the end of the fourth row. Here at the end, I have three double crochets left. One, two, three. Chain one, skip one, and into the last two, make one double crochet here at the end. Remember that for this row, we always 
end with two double crochets and we always begin with two double crochets at the end of this fourth row now you should have 67 double crochets separated by one chain except here so now from here on you're going to repeat these two rows so for the fifth row this is where we need to do double crochets so chain one and turn beginning on top of the first double crochet make a double crochet double crochet on top of the next double crochet into the chain one space and on top of the double crochet this row is easy all you do is just double crochets so I'm going to continue until I come to the corner here just to show you I think by now you get how this stitch is worked just repeat the two rows from here on Okay, here's a chain two, so just make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then continue for the next side, doing the exact same thing. Okay, this is all we're going to do. We're going to repeat these two rows. Now, at the end of this fifth row, you should have 135 double crochets. Now, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here for the rest of the yoke, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. So continue like this. Just repeat these two rows and I will meet you at the end of that row. Now, at the end of this fifth row, you should have a total of 135 double crochets. Okay, I finished row five, six, and seven. At the end of the fifth row, you should have had 135 double crochets. At the end of the sixth row, there should have been 83 double crochets separated by one chain. And then at the end of this seventh row, I have 167 double crochets. Now, it's measuring this part here right across. It's measuring about 10 centimeters, which is about four inches, and here the chest area this part here it's measuring about 20 centimeters which is about eight inches um, just the top so i'm going to uh, leave my yoke like this it's done for the size that i'm making this for if you want to make it bigger just continue and make more rows so here what i'm going to do first here before i divide the sleeves is i'm going to go along the very edge here and make single crochets so chain one and into this last double crochet that i did make two double crochets two double crochets here at the end where i have this chain and into each one of the stitches along the edge two double crochets um sorry two single crochets one and two and then one and two and then one and two here's the last row two single crochets now into this first chain right here i'm going to make a single crochet as well so you should have 15 single crochet let's see two four six eight ten twelve fourteen fifteen single crochets now chain one turn and into this first single crochet make a single crochet here i'm going to make my buttonholes so chain one skip one single crochet and into the next make a single crochet and then single crochet into each one of the next 10 single crochets that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten chain one skip one single crochet and into the last two make a single crochet and here's the second row with our buttonholes now chain one turn and work your way up just making single crochets one two and into the chain one space make your third four five six seven eight 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, into the chain one space, 14, and then 15 at the top. Now cut your yarn, pass your yarn through this last loop, and this part here is done. Now you're going to do the exact same thing here on this other side. We're going to do three rows and then 15 single crochets. So let me start you here, insert your hook into the chain here at the very top, grab a loop, chain one, and then a single crochet here into the same stitch. Now along the very edge you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do two single crochets. Here you're going to have to make sure you have 15 single crochets just like we did the other side. Okay so continue finish this side here. You're going to finish then chain one turn come back up chain one turn and then I'll meet you at the end of that third row okay I finished making this side I did three rows and I'm right here at the bottom so here what we're going to do is this is the other side this is where we have our buttonholes so here we're going to align them like this this is going to go on top so now insert your hook into this first row right here and grab this loop here bring it through the front chain two these two chains do not count as a stitch. Now we're going to go back into this same stitch here and into the last single crochet here. Right there, you see the little space right there. Grab a loop and make a double crochet. Now chain one, go to the very edge right here on top of this last single crochet like this and we're going to make a double crochet. So go through this side and then go right here into this stitch right before the first one right there you see that stitch and make a double crochet now we're going to chain one we're going to skip this double crochet and we're going to go into this double crochet the second one and right on top right here make a double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one and i'm going to do this until i come to the first chain two space we're going to divide the sleeves in this row and i'm here at the end skip the last one and inside the chain two space make two double crochets and here's the this back side we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen double crochets here not including the two chains now we're going to skip these stitches here for the sleeve and we're going to go into the next chain two space and here we're going to make two double crochets one and two chain one skip this first double crochet and into the next right here make a double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one and so on continue and finish this side here and i'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to divide the other sleeve okay i finished making these double crochets here i have let's see we have two 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25 double crochets here. Now we're going to skip these stitches here for the sleeve and we're going to go into this last chain two space. So here you're going to make two double crochets. And now chain one skip this first double crochet and into the next make a double crochet chain one skip one and into the next double crochet chain one and this is all i'm going to do continue and finish this first row i'm here at the end of this first row i have my last double crochet chain one and here i'm going to join to the top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch 
And this is how I finished this first row where we divided the sleeve with a total of 51 double crochets. I have 25 double crochets here for the front and 26 for the back. Now in the second row, we're going to make increases right here under each sleeve. So chain two and on top of this first double crochet, make your first double crochet, then into the chain one space, a double crochet, on top of the double crochet, a double crochet, and so on. I'm going to continue like this until I come to under the sleeve. Okay, I'm here. I have the two double crochets that I did into this chain two space and then I have the two here on this other side. Into the first double crochet right here, make a double crochet. Into the second one and the first one on this side, I'm going to make two double crochets on each. One and two. And then into this one here, two. One and two. So this is how we're going to do the increase, see, two and two. Now you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm not going to show you because I think you, you know what to do. It's exactly how I did it here. And right here, this is where you're going to do your increases, two and two, and then continue until you finish this second row. I will meet you at the end of the second row. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 100 double crochets, not including the two chains. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the second row with a total of 100 double crochets. Now in the third row, what we're going to do is we're going to chain two. And here, what I'm going to do is front post and back post double crochets. If you prefer, I know some people have a hard time working front post and back post double crochets, you can just do double crochets on top. Or even you can do this row here, the row where we do double crochet chain one. That would be up to you. So to do it how I'm going to do it, I'm going to work this first double crochet into a front post double crochet, then the next one back post, double crochet, front post, double crochet, back post, double crochet. This is all I'm going to do for this third row. I'm just going to alternate between front post and back post, double crochets. Continue and I will meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where we did front post and back post double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, from here on, we're going to switch to a slightly bigger hook. I'm going to use this 3.5 millimeter hook. So here, chain five, uh, actually four. One, two, three, four. Chain four, and into this same stitch here, Go back in and make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. In this row, we're going to make these fans of five double crochets separated by one chain. Here, the four chains counts as your first double crochet, actually the first three and then the chain one space. Again, we're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch, make double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet. And that's five double crochets separated by one chain. Again, skip one, two, three, and into the fourth same thing, double crochet, chain one, 
double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet and here's my third fan five double crochets separated by one chain don't forget to chain one in between the double crochets now continue like this to the end of this row I'm here at the end of this first row this is where we did these fans it's five double crochets separated by one chain now up to here I have 25 fans and here at the end I only have three double crochets now to finish this row we're going to go here into this chain four space right there and make a single crochet that's how we're going to finish this row now for the next row chain three and into each one of the chain one spaces we're going to do a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet now jump to the next fan and do a single crochet into the first chain one space then chain three single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet and this is all we're going to do here so continue and i will meet you at the end of this second row i'm here at the end of this second row this is where we did single crochet chain three single crochet chain three i did my last single crochet now to finish we're going to go here to the side of this first single crochet and join with a slip stitch now what we need to do next is the row of fans now each one of the fans are going to go into the middle chain three space we have three on each fan one two three so into the middle one you're going to do your fan so let me show you here here at the beginning we have to work some slip stitches so i'm going to work the first one here uh, we have the three chains so right in the middle insert your hook there and make a slip stitch a slip stitch into the single crochet and a slip stitch inside this chain three space right there now chain four make a double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet here's the first fan now jump to the next one and find your chain three space right here right in the middle one two three into the second chain three space make your next fan double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and double crochet this is all we're going to do so continue i'll meet you at the end of this row i'm here at the end of this third row in this row we did these fans and i have 25 fans now to finish we're going to go here to the side where we have the four chains and join with a single crochet now chain three and into the next chain one space make a single crochet chain three single crochet into the next chain one space three chains single crochet in this row we're going to repeat the second row to our pattern now jump to the next fan and into the first chain one space make a single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet chain three single crochet and this is all i'm going to do for this fourth row continue and i'll meet you here at the end to show you how to finish and how to start each row from here on i'm here at the end of this fourth row this is the second row to our pattern remember the pattern consists of two rows the row of fans and this row that we are here at the end so to finish this row we're going to go here to the side where i have the we're going to go here where I have the first single crochet and we're going to join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this row. Now for the next row, I need to do the row of fans. So the fans are going to go into the second chain three space of every fan, which is the center here. So to do this, you're going to have to make three slip stitches. The first one, you're going to insert your hook here into this second chain and make a slip stitch. 
the second one you're going to go into the single crochet and make a slip stitch and the third inside this center chain three space now once here you're going to chain four a double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet and here's the first fan now to make the next one you're going to jump to the next fan and right here in the center you're going to do the same thing double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet and that's how you're going to continue for the rest of this row now once you finish you're going to join here with a single crochet and then do this row that we just finished I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do here for the little dress it all depends how long I want to leave this and um, you can also just decide how long you want your little dress to be okay so continue like this and like I said I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do but continue watching I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do so I'll meet you at the end of that row okay I finished this part here I did a total of eight rows here and it's measuring from here up to the last row it's measuring about 12 inches which is about 30.5 centimeters if you want to make the skirt longer you can here I'm just going to work one more row of fans so here I just finished this last row and then I joined so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn here and I'm going to make a slip stitch into this last single crochet slip stitch into the chains here slip stitch into this single crochet and a slip stitch inside this chain three now here you're going to chain three and you're going to make a double crochet and then in total we're going to make five double crochets let's see we have the three chains plus one two three four I need to do one more so that's six double crochets let's see two four six perfect jump to the next fan and right in the center we have these three chains so there you're going to do six double crochets this is all I'm going to do for this row and I'm working this row from the inside out so basically on the wrong side and there's a reason for it I tried it the other way and this part here didn't work so I'm going to do it like this and it's going to look so much nicer this last row that I'm going to do okay so continue make six double crochets I need to make one more here on top of each one of the fans and I'll meet you at the end of this row okay I finished this last row here all I did was just join here to the side of the chains join with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop now this part here is done now we're going to go on the right side here and with this white yarn bring this loop through the front here chain one now we're going to go in between these two double crochets of the first fan and work a slip stitch chain four slip stitch in between the next two double crochets chain four slip stitch in between the next two double crochets chain four slip stitch in between the next two double crochets chain four a slip stitch in between the last two double crochets now jump to the next fan and in between these first two double crochets make a slip stitch chain four slip stitch in between the next two chain four slip stitch in between the next two chain four slip stitch in between the next four chain four slip stitch and then jump to the next fan and in between the next two 
a slip stitch. And this is how you're going to continue. And that's what it looks like. Okay, so continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I went ahead and finished this last row here at the end. All I did was just join with a slip stitch, cut my yarn in and pass my yarn through this last loop. And this last row here is done. Look how beautiful that looks. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do this sleeve. So we're going to do it exactly in the same way. This one here, I already did it. I did this one here from the back towards the front. So you're going to do the same thing. This one we're going to do from the front towards the back. That's the only difference. So here to begin, you're going to go into the double crochet after the chain two space right here in this corner with this 3.5 millimeter hook. So just bring a loop through the front, chain one, and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now, if you notice that this here is different is because I had already recorded this part, but my video was blurry, so I decided to do another yoke just like you have right now so that I can show you exactly. So we're right here in this corner. We did a single crochet into this double crochet. Now into the next double crochet, make a single crochet into the next double crochet, make a half double crochet. And now into the next three double crochets, you're going to do a double crochet, but you're only going to go through the back loop. So that's one, two, and three. Remember, it's only through the back loop. Now, to create the little ruffles, what we're going to do next is we need to make three double crochets again, but we need to go into the front loops. So what I'm going to do is into this same double crochet where I did the last double crochet, through the front loop, you're going to make the first double crochet out of the three that you're going to do next. So front loop, make a double crochet, and into the next two, same thing. Through the front loop, make a double crochet into each one. And here are the three front loop double crochets and here are the three back loop double crochets. So now I need to repeat the three back loop double crochets. So I'm going to go into this last double crochet and through the back loop like this, you're going to make your first double crochet and then into the next two through the back loop only, make your next two. Now, I have to repeat again the three front loops double crochet. So into this last double crochet through the front loop of the same stitch here, make your first double crochet and into the next two through the front loop, make your next two double crochets. And this is all you need to do. Again, let me show you. We have the three front loop double crochet. So now we're going to go into the back of this last double crochet into the back loop and make your next three double crochets through the back loop. And that's what creates the little ruffle on the sleeves. I have my three back loop double crochets now into this last double crochet through the front loop. I need to make my next three double crochets here. So this is going to be the first one. That's one into the next through the back through the front loop, pardon make your double crochets and that's all you're going to do for the rest of the sleeve and as you can see that's what's creating the little ruffle here continue and i will meet you right about here three stitches before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this sleeve i'm here at the end i still have these last three stitches so now what we're going to do here is into this next one we're going to make a half double crochet and then into the next two a single crochet now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work single crochets here for this part. So to do this, I'm going to insert my hook here inside this uh, stitch here, make a single crochet, then a single crochet here, and one more right here, right in the middle. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. This is just so that it looks nice under the sleeve here and then into this double crochet. And then inside this space here, make a single crochet. And join with a slip stitch. 
Oop, I think that looks better. Now cut your yarn and just pass your yarn through this last loop. And this part here is done. Now you can leave it like this or do what I did here. Uh, this part here is exactly how we did here. So let me show you this part. I'm going to make a loop here and we're going to go again here. I'm going to start under the sleeve. So right here into the very center. Grab a loop. And into the next stitch here, make a slip stitch or actually yeah, slip stitch. So here's where I joined with a slip stitch. This is the first single crochet. So now we're going to make four chains and we're going to skip one and into the next we're going to make a slip stitch. One, two, three, four. Skip one stitch and into the next a slip stitch. One, two, three, four. Skip one and into the next a slip stitch. One, two, three, four. Skip one and into the next a slip stitch. Now this is how you're going to continue and this is what it's going to look like. That's how I did mine. Okay, so continue and I'll meet you once this part here is done to show you how we're going to finish this last row. Okay, I finished here at this other end here. All I did was just make a slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and the sleeve is done and that's what it looks like. Now you're going to do the exact same thing we did here. You're going to do it here on this side. Just remember to start here on this side, on the back side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the back and with this three millimeter crochet hook and this number three yarn here in this color white, we're going to go here into this very last stitch right there, grab a loop, chain one, and into the next make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next, and in between here make a single crochet. Now we're going to make single crochets in between the double crochets until I come to the first corner. I'm going to show you what we need to do there. Okay, here's my last space. Grab a loop, don't close. Insert your hook into this corner. Three loops on the hook, close. And then in between the next two, make your single crochet. I did a, a decrease there, so we're going to do the same thing into this next corner. Now, if you feel like um, the neckline is too big, then you can make reductions here in the same way that I just did this here. Okay, here's my last space. Grab a loop, insert your hook in the corner, grab a loop, and into the next your space. I have four loops, close. And then continue along until you come to the next. Here I did three stitches instead of two. So I'm going to do the same thing here at this other side. And then in the back only two. There, here's the last stitch. Grab a loop, insert your hook into this corner, grab a loop, and into the next, between the next two, grab a loop. Four loops, close, and then continue along. And work single crochets until you come to the next corner. In the next corner, you're only going to do two. Continue, and I will meet you here at this other end. Okay, I'm here at the end. I finished making these single crochets. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to chain one and turn. 
we're going to go back around making single crochets, but we're only going to go through the back loop here like this. And we're going to make single crochets into the back loop only. Like this. Okay, so continue all around, just making one single crochet through the back loop of the previous single crochet. I'll meet you here at this other end. Okay, I'm here at this other end. I finished making these single crochets. I have a total of 69 single crochets. Now, what I have done here, I have a stitch marker. This is uh, the center. So if you divide 69 by two, you get uh, 34 and a half. So I'm marking the 35th stitch here. So we have 34 and then 34 and then this one stitch right in the center. Now, here to do this next row, what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, we're going to turn. Now all of these triple crochets that we're going to work, we're going to work them into the front loop of your single crochet. Your single crochet has two loops, the front loop and the back loop. We're only going to go through the front loop. So yarn over twice into the next single crochet, insert your hook through the front loop, take two loops off, take two loops off, take two loops off. Again, yarn over twice into the next through the front loop only, take two loops off, take two loops off, take two loops off. Again, yarn over twice and into the next single crochet, do the same thing. This is how we're going to continue up to right about here we're going to have 34 triple crochets. So I will meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I have a total of 31 triple crochets here plus the three chains here at the beginning. Now, I told you I was going to have 34, but no, I decided to only do 31 and then into these next three stitches, what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into this next stitch here, and I'm going to make a double crochet yarn over again and into the next make a half double crochet now into the center stitch right here make a slip stitch and this is how we finish this side see right there now we're going to continue for the other side we're going to remove this stitch marker here i'm going to yarn over and into this next stitch here I'm going to make a half double crochet. Make sure that you only go through the front loop. Again, yarn over and into the next, make a double crochet. Now yarn over twice and into each one of the single crochets, you're going to do your triple crochet here. Like this. Yarn over twice and again, same thing. Continue and finish this side here, and I will meet you here at this other end. I'm here at this other end of the neckline. Here at the end, I did a double crochet. Now, for the next row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now, on top of this first double crochet, make a slip stitch. And now, chain four. Skip one stitch and into the next on top of the next triple crochet make a slip stitch four chains skip one and into the next a slip stitch Chain four skip one and into the next a slip stitch This is how we're going to continue all around the neckline. So I'll meet you here at this other end Okay, I'm right here, right in the center, and I want to show you how I'm going to work this part here. I did my last slip stitch, and into these next three stitches, I'm going to make a slip stitch. Like this. Just thought I'd show you how I'm going to do this part. There. Now, chain four. Skip one, and into the next, a slip stitch. And then from here on, you're just going to continue with the same thing. Chain four and then skip one and into the next a slip stitch. 
Continue like this and I will meet you here at this other end. Okay, I finished this row here at the end. All I did was just join to the last stitch with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then pass my yarn through that last loop. And this part here is done. Now, what I'm doing here now is I started right here. I didn't show you this part because I didn't uh, think it was going to work, but it actually, it does. I noticed that the collar was starting to stand up a little. So what I did was make slip stitches here. So I started right here. I just went in, grabbed the loop, brought the loop through the front, chained one, and then started making slip stitches here along the very edge. So I'm going to show you right here. I'm halfway done. So I'm going to show you here how I'm doing this if you want to do it also. I'm just going through all of these three loops. See, so you can see them right there, each one. See, I'm going through these three loops right along the very edge and I'm making slip stitches. So into this next stitch, make a slip stitch. Now to do this part, I'm using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Here's the center, slip stitch, and then again, slip stitch, and slip stitch. This is how I'm going to work this part here. So if you want to do the same thing, this is how it's done, okay? continue and I will meet you here at this other end. Okay, I went ahead and finished the collar here. All I did was just join here to the side with a slip stitch, cut my yarn and then pass my yarn through that last loop. And this here is all done. I also went ahead and added the little button. This button here is the nine millimeter button and that's what it looks like. Now, what I plan to do here is I'm going to weave a ribbon like I did here. This is the ribbon that I'm using. It's Let's see, it's 7 8 of an inch or 22 millimeter. It's slightly thick, so you're going to have to weave it through this row of double crochets that we did. Actually, this is the front post and back post double crochet row that we did. It's the first row. That's where I weaved in my ribbon. And then here in the back, I did a little bow. Now, you can also just join both ends here and just leave the little bow out. You don't have to do it, but I think I'm going to leave it there. And then right in the center, right here, right in between, I'm going to add these little flowers like this and then I'm going to attach these little rose buds right in the center and I'm also going to sew one of these right here right in the middle of the collar and that should look something like this now these little flowers came from Hobby Lobby these flowers came from the wedding aisle these are let's see little flowers all I did was just pull them off and then took the center off and then I added the little flowers right here in the center I just sew them in but you can also use hot glue to put them on there and that's what I plan to do now the little rose buds are these now you can get these from Michaels Hobby Lobby or Walmart they're very inexpensive and I love using them now I'm also thinking of adding some lace down here at the bottom like this. I'm not sure if I will, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. But I'm using, um, I plan to use this very inexpensive lace. It's $1.99 for three yards, which is plenty for this little dress. And all I'm going to do is just sew it here into this row of fans. But I'll show you if I decide to do that. So it should look something like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do all of this and then I'm going to come back and show you the finished baby dress. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some of this lace. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to attach it here. I'm uh, working from the inside. So I have some needle, some thread. This is pink thread here and a very tiny needle. So I started right here. This is where we finished. This is the back. So I started right there and right along the very edge here we have the row of fans so I'm just going in like this I think this is called a blanket stitch I'm not sure I'm not good at sewing but I, I think I can do this this is very easy so I'm just going to go like this along the very edge into each one of the double crochets you can't really see this stitch because it's so tiny and that's how I'm going to continue along the very edge here, attaching my lace. Like this. And here's the center. Now, again, this is optional. You do not have to do this. 
but you know I like to add that extra touch to all of my pieces so I'm going to go ahead and do it like this this is going to be a very girly baby dress so that's all I'm going to do I'm just going through each one of the double crochets and I'm just sewing it in there and let me show you the front that's what it looks like from the front perfect so I'm going to go ahead and continue all around uh, I measure this and this is about 42 inches that I'm going to need which is about 107 centimeters so I'm going to continue and then I'll come back and show you the finished baby set okay I finished adding my lace here to the bottom and this is what it looks like it looks absolutely beautiful I decided to go a little bit overboard and I decided to add some here around the sleeves and around the neck and I absolutely love love the way that this looks so I hope you like it as well now you're going to need about two yards of this um, lace here it's very inexpensive and you can find it pretty much anywhere and it was very easy to attach here to the bottom as well as to the sides here of this sleeves and along the neckline here along the neckline I just did it into right here this row of double crochets that I did when I did the yoke and the collar here covers it a little bit so it looks absolutely beautiful and this is what it looks like from the back if you prefer to have a little bobby on the front you can do that as well I just like it the way that this looks I absolutely love love this little dress so I hope you like it as well now let me give you the finished measurements from the top of the neckline down to the end of this last row it's measuring about 32 centimeters which is about 12.5 inches and the waist just here just the top it's measuring about 25 centimeters which is about 10 inches so based on these measurements this little baby dress is for baby girls between six and nine months old now I also went ahead and did the matching diaper cover this one here look how adorable this is it's absolutely beautiful now I also did the matching baby booties these here and the matching headband so stay tuned for these tutorials initially I had planned to, to make this into one video but unfortunately in the way that I like to do my tutorials this would have been a two-hour tutorial so I didn't want to put you all through two hours of me talking so I'm going to have to do the, these videos separately so I hope you all understand that now this completes my baby dress stay tuned for these tutorials I'll go ahead and upload them shortly so this was today's tutorial I hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time